Hi guys, I wanted to jump on and show you a book that I picked up at Ollie's. I know it's been a little while since I've been on, but I've been so busy and um, I recently had a baby and uh, now I've had just a little bit of downtime since he's a few months old and he's napping right now. Um, but I wanted to just show you this great book that I picked up at Ollie's and the cover just totally drew me in, this beautiful cover. The book is called The World in Prince. Um, the text is by David Reimer and the his, it's the history of advertising posters from the late 19th century to 1940s. So let's just jump right in. Look at this beautiful inside cover. Isn't that gorgeous? This book was, uh, I took the sticker off. I just stuck it to a piece of paper. It was $7.99. And then I also had a 20% off coupon. Wow. Um, just under uh, $7 for this book. And this book is, it's um, about, I think I measured it around 11, um, a little over, or just about 11 inches by almost a little over 13 inches. So it's a pretty, pretty big book. Um, so let's see, The World in Prince. And I'm just going to read a couple of things because I think it's really um, just kind of great to know how these prints were um, kind of established and how they were made. And look at this beautiful photo here. On this page, it says, This classic Art Nouveau lithograph, Reveri by Alphonse Mucca, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it correctly, appeared in La Plume. It depicts an ethereal young Mucca woman leafing through a book of decorative designs. The elaborate disc behind her is ornately decorated with lacy flowers with color tones and disc motifs that are picked up in her gown. And I just want to show you guys this. Look at that. I don't know if that's like a, sorry, that book's like creaking. Um, if that's like a charm that's hanging off, um, maybe it's like a chain. Maybe that's how they used bookmarks back then. Look at that. This is just gorgeous, you guys. These beautiful images, and I'm sure we've all seen them around because they're in, people are using them in digital prints as well on Etsy that you can print out. And I'm not gonna read this page, but um, here's another way that they did printing on this stone printing press. And I guess it was done through um, limestone rolls and they did um, lithography uh, with wax, soap, lamp, black, and rainwater, it says. Uh, let's see. It was patented by Alus Senefelder in 1799. Oh my goodness. I've always been drawn to lithography and prints and how they were made and this beautiful design on this page right over here um it says lithogra lithographic sorry specimen drawn and engraved on stone by john mcgay to promote his lithographic company in liverpool england showing detailed decorative scenes of trade cards charts architect plans and a beam image engine sorry um it's kind of hard to read when i'm trying to focus on the camera and uh, the pictures. Uh, and it also says, set within a classical border. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Look at the detail. Wow. How gorgeous. And that was done on stone originally. And then we'll just kind of, I'm not going to read every, um page by page. I just wanted to show you a couple things that I found um, intriguing and then some photos I wanted to just show you throughout the book. So we'll just look at the photos now. 
and it has beautiful bright colors and texts. Um, lots of beautiful different photos and posters and ads throughout this book. So yeah, you guys have to check this out. And this poster design is by Jewel Sheree. Um, for the staging of the musical Faust. Look at these. Hope you're not catching too many shadows here because I have a few different lights on, but I think it's coming out good. All right, let's see. Wow. Just look at these poster ads that they had back then. Another Jewel Sheree commercial poster for a department store. And opera, French theater posters. Aren't they just so great? Look at that. And a couple other posters. These are beautiful. I mean, it'd be very hard to even tear into this book, but it's just gorgeous. I almost um, went back and picked up another one, but I'm thinking about going to Ollie's again and checking it out and see if I could get another one. But this is one of my all-time favorite ads. Um, it's called, it's a poster illustration, Zodiac La Plume by Alphonse Mucha or Mucha was his first design for printer Champenos. La Plume bought the rights to the magazine 1897 calendar. It became one of Mucha's most popular designs and went through nine variants. And it was um, published in 1896. And I'll just show you guys a closer up of this. You could see the zodiac in the circle and look at her headpiece with the gems and the stars on her shoulder and then the vines and um, different colors throughout and look at her ne necklace uh, piece on her that is beautiful Let's look at the rest here. Some more interesting posters and colors. Look at this page, full page basically of um, a poster ad. There's a lot of French, uh, oh, and I've seen these before in some of the digitals. These are beautiful. More of Alphonse Mucha's work. And some of these are depicting famous actresses and actors. Um, let's see, it says, during the Renaissance production, just how gorgeous are these? These are just so beautiful. Beautiful. Look at that. The stars, the blue stars with the purple background and this beautiful image with the roses. Oh my goodness, you guys. Oh my gosh, look at this page. It's beautiful yellow gold color with these beautiful images. Looks like she's holding a feather. Look at that. Look how gorgeous that is. And then look at this one too. Beautiful images. I really love his work. Who wouldn't be drawn in by these type of ads? Just the detail that he put into them. 
He's definitely the master of Art Nouveau, that's for sure. My goodness. The beautiful jewels. An ornate metal crown. Fringed with pearls. Wow. Oh my goodness, look at this, you guys. Look at these panels. Imagine you have that as art on your walls. I think it said something about this one. It said, Alphonse Mucca's four panel, the times of the day series combines a fresh, delicate pastel palette with exuberant floral motifs. Each female figure's natural setting reflects her mood and the time of day. This landmark panel is one of the reasons Mucca came to be known as a master of Art Nouveau. Wow. Just stunning. Stunning. Stunning mark, you guys. Look at those beautiful images. Beautiful. And look at these. Let me just see if I can zoom in a little bit. Look at that. Just gorgeous. Another stunning image. This one takes up almost both of the pages. Beautiful colors. Wow, this one's gorgeous too. It's a lady. Um, it looks. It says a magazine devoted to the arts. The Quarter Quartier Latin. More Art Nouveau. It's a meadow. It's very detailed with flowers and a lady sitting in the spring flowers and reading a book. And I wonder what were they advertising there? Oh, okay. Um, designed for Century Magazine Midsummer Holiday Number. Wow. Oh, okay, so it's it's um advertising century, um magazine. It says it right there. <laughs> All right. Wow. These are beautiful, you guys. This is for perfume. Who wouldn't buy perfume with this ad? <laughs> and then another ad here. I think um to advertise advertise perfumes as well. Yeah. gonna kind of skim through the rest really quickly that's pretty cool with the cats on it oh wow look at that some more uh cat advertisements this one looks like it was for a salon i think oh no let's see uh automobile cycle sports hmm Oh, it's for, it was to advertise a motor show in Paris in 1902. Oh, see, I gotta read up here. <laughs> wow, that is pretty cool. I'm really loving these ads. Oh my goodness, look at these. This looks like it's for perfume. Ornate floral wallpaper provides a backdrop, backdrop to his elegantly corseted subject as the image illustrates how Privé Lermont's, Levy Mont's uh, understanding of photography led to the genesis of Art Nouveau's 
idealization of feminine beauty for this one. That's beautiful. Wow, look at that. Gorgeous. And this one too, with the beautiful roses. I'm just in awe of this book. Beautiful. Smoking. <laughs> of different ads in here. Posters. There's a lot of reds and yellows and oranges I'm, I'm noticing in these. Probably to draw you in. This book has got a lot of pages too. Fruit. can't believe this book. I love it so much. I love all the posters, the ads, and how these were created. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. There's so many more pages, you guys. So I'm just going to quickly go through them. And these pages are very, very nice quality pages. So if you wanted to use them in your junk journals, you can. And you can cut them down as well or fold them. Very interesting posters. Oh, look at this one with the coffee. Espresso. I like that one. So I hope you guys are enjoying this book. And you should check it out. Maybe if you have Ollie's nearby, they might have it. They always have great deals on books that you can use. For your scrapbooking or journaling or just to read. Uh, one for a Bugatti. I like that. Interesting. But yeah, there's so many pages in here, you guys. Look at this. Hope you guys enjoyed this book and I really love the ads in here and I noticed it's cracking a little bit here but I think it's because I might have been a little rough with it when I got it home unfortunately but that's okay I'm not gonna worry about that well I'll talk to you guys soon all right bye